Now let's study about an important term which we term as nuclear binding energy. About nuclear binding energy, we can write few points like a nucleus is a stable because strong nuclear forces. Bond all nucleons in the very small volume of a nucleus. We already studied that in a stable nucleus, the strong nuclear forces overall are greater than or equal to the net electrostatic repulsion acting on. The protons due to other protons within the nucleus. So overall, as the nucleus stable, it is bounded under the influence of strong nuclear forces. Here we can write that due to attractive nuclear forces, the system potential energy is negative. We already discussed that when our system is stable and it is under the influence of attractive forces, then the overall energy of system must be negative. So we can simply say that if the overall energy of system is negative and it is stable, the same magnitude energy if externally supplied, the total energy of system becomes zero, and every particle of the system will become free from the overall attraction of the the system, which is causing the system to be stable. So here we can write the total energy required to be supplied to a nucleus to break it apart into its free nucleons is called Binding energy of the nucleus. This is termed as binding energy because this is the energy because of which the whole system is in a bounded form. So here we can write if there is a nucleus Z X A which is having a number of nucleons. If we supply binding energy to the system, this is the binding energy of Nucleus X, then it will split into its constituent nucleons. That is, in this situation, if its atomic number is Z, that means there are total Z protons in it. Plus, there will be a minus Z neutrons in this nuclei. So we can say when binding energy is supplied to a nucleus, all the nucleons of the Nucleus will get free from the binding forces of the nucleus. That is, all the nucleons will become free, and it splits into its all constituents. So here we can write about binding energy. We can write that higher the binding energy of a nucleus. More stable, the nucleus will be. If there is a highly stable nucleus, then we can simply state its potential energy is more negative, or we can say it is more stable because of high attraction among its nucleons. So obviously, to break it apart, we need more energy. So binding energy of a nucleus is basically a measure of its stability. Also, overall stability of nucleus, which is required to split it into all its nucleons. About binding energy, we will study more in detail in the coming sections. Also.